let's go deeper with quadrilaterals. Remember, a quadrilateral is a shape with four sides. Quadrilaterals with one pair of parallel sides are called trapezoids. If a quadrilateral has two pair of parallel sides, then it is called a parallelogram. Parallelograms with four right angles are called rectangles, and parallelograms with four congruent sides are called rhombuses. If a parallelogram has four right angles and four equal sides, it is called a square. Now remember, a square can also be called a rhombus, a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a quadrilateral. It belongs to all of these groups. Okay, let's see how many names can apply to each of these polygons. We have four sides, so we have a quadrilateral. I have two sets of parallel sides, not one. So it is a parallelogram, not a trapezoid. There are no right angles, so it's not a rectangle or a square, and the sides are not equal, so it's not a rhombus. What do you call this shape? It's a quadrilateral because it has four sides, Two sets of opposite sides are parallel, so it's a parallelogram, not a trapezoid. But now it has four right angles, so it is also called a rectangle. The sides are not congruent, so it's not a rhombus or a square. What would you call this? I bet you said square, and that's right. But it can also be called a quadrilateral because it has four sides, a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel, a rectangle because it's a parallelogram with four right angles, and a rhombus because it has four equal sides. So this shape can have a lot of names. Square is just its most detailed name. Look at this shape. It has one pair of parallel sides, but the other pair would eventually intersect. So it is a trapezoid. And yes, since it has four sides, it is also a quadrilateral. Okay, now it's your turn to answer a couple of questions. 